I just wanted to finish up with uh, going over these examples with you guys. So a question might say, how much energy does it take to melt 10 grams of ice at its melting point? So we're going to be using this equation uh, that you see right there. Q equals, excuse me, Q equals M uh, times enthalpy of fusion. Uh, and we're using enthalpy of fusion because we are melting. So if you remember, if you're melting or freezing, it'll be enthalpy of fusion. And then our amount in this case is in grams, it's 10 grams. So we are using mass. So all we got to do is plug our information directly into that equation and then and multiply. So in this case, Q is equal to uh, 10 grams times 334 joules per gram, which is the heat of fusion. The last thing I want to say is we have to remember melting is endothermic. It is absorbing energy. So this will be oops, the 334, I should say, the heat of fusion is going to be a positive number. If I ask the same question, but I said freezing, uh, I, sorry, I said instead of melt, I said to freeze water. Uh, it would be that same number, but negative. Let's do one more example. Uh, this one is how much energy does it take to boil 10 grams of water at its boiling point? So in this one, the equation is exactly the same, except instead of enthalpy of fusion, we're using enthalpy of vaporization. So we just, again, throw our mass in there, 10 grams, Multiply it by our enthalpy of vaporization, 2,260 joules per gram. And we get our answer, 22,600 joules to boil 10 grams of water. Uh, again, boiling is endothermic. So that's why that ends up being a positive number. It's really important to always ask yourself at the, at the end of the question, is the process it's going through, is it absorbing that energy or is it releasing that energy? So you make sure you get the right sign. One thing I want to point out between these two questions is look at how much more energy it takes to boil 10 grams of water than it takes to melt 10 grams of water. So to boil, it was 22,600 joules. Just to melt 10 grams of water, just 3,340. So the enthalpy of vaporization for water is significantly higher. It takes much more energy to vaporize water.